Hey, this is Pat, and today we are checking out the all-new Cardo Pack Talk Pro. Now, the Pack Talk Pro is the latest and greatest from Cardo, stepping up from their edge with a few added features that I will get to in the video. And I gotta say, I am a fan of Cardo, especially when you compare them to other comm units on the market. I've been using them for years, and I think they are innovating at an excellent pace, giving you great features throughout their line to offer something for every rider out there. And the Pro is no exception to that. So the Pro, like I said, is gonna be standing above the edge to the top of the line when it comes to PackDog Pro, and it comes with a top of the line price point as well. It's coming in at $460 as of shooting this video. Now that's about $100 more than the Edge, and when I, what I like to look at in this scenario is what are you getting for that extra $100? Because a lot of the features that I'll go into in a second are gonna be the same as the Cardo Pack Talk Edge. So if you've seen that video, if you're looking into that one, the features are gonna remain the same except for three very key distinctive points. The first one I wanna talk about is the one this Pack Talk Pro is gonna be known for, and that is the crash detection. So Cardo actually updated the hardware inside of this unit and added an IMU, or an inertia measurement unit, into the unit itself, and that paired along with your phone's um, telemetry, algorithms, things that are running in there for crash detection. It can detect when there is a crash and a crash has occurred. You then have 30 seconds to tell the unit that you're okay or open the app and tell the app that you are fine. If you don't, within that 30 seconds, it will send your emergency contact of your choosing a message letting them know that a crash has occurred, your location, everything along those lines. So that is the biggest selling feature for the uh, the Cardo Pack Talk Pro uh, over the edge, but I think the other two that come right behind it might be the better features in my opinion. The crash detection is great, that's fantastic, it pairs well with Apple who is already a billion dollar industry when it comes to their crash detection, so I like that they're piggybacking off of that. With that IMU though, it also gave the ability for auto on and off. So if you're someone like myself that forgets to turn off their, uh, their comm unit when they get home, or you know drains the battery just because you're looking at it and not thinking to turn it off or turn it back on. The auto on and auto off will detect when you put your helmet down, it'll power the unit off, and when you put your helmet on, it'll automatically power it on thanks to that inertia measurement unit. So I do love that feature. I think that's gonna be great for commuters out there. Anybody who, you know, like I said, like myself, is forgetful to turn off their electronics. I love that feature. And the one that comes in the caboose that I think is probably the best feature is that you get the 45 millimeter JBL speakers for that cost. Now, when you look at the JBL speakers, the 45s compared to the 40s that come with the Edge. The 45 millimeter JBL speakers are a $90 upgrade on their own. So considering you're getting all the other features for $100, you're getting that crash detection for an additional $10 with that auto on and off. That's what I think makes the Pro such a great feature. At that very steep $460 price point, it makes sense. So if you're considering the Edge, maybe even the Neo in their line, keep that in mind for an additional $10 over what you'd spend to get those 45 millimeter JBL speakers, you are getting the rest of the features. So it really is is a bargain when you're looking at that step up if you already are considering it. If not, if you're looking at the edge, again, still a fantastic unit. If the crash detection isn't right for you, you can save the coin, get the speakers, <clears throat> excuse me, later if you want them, and just go with the edge instead of the pro. All the other features, like I said, remain the same compared to the Edge, so I'll run through them really quick. It is IP67 waterproof, so it is gonna be waterproof and dustproof in its construction. Great for anybody who's long distance touring, doesn't know what the weather's gonna be, or anybody who's just commuting on everyday basis, you get that protection on there. You get about 13 hours of battery life and a couple days of standby time, and you still get their dynamic mesh communication, or DMC, the second generation of that, which allows up to 15 riders on mesh, and Bluetooth 5.2 technology behind it. If your friends still ride with Bluetooth comms, you can use it up to four riders on communications. The distance is about a mile for each of those, rider to rider. With the mesh unit, up to six riders can launch across about six miles in distance. So keep that in mind. You still get natural voice. So if you say, hey Siri, or okay Google, it'll automatically connect up to your phone if you have that turned on, which is my favorite feature. I drive about an hour to work on my bike every single day. It's something that I use that more than anything to send a text, send anything, or set notifications up for things when I get home. One of my favorite features though, with the Edge that remains in the Pro, this is my old HJC R470, and you do get the air magnetic mounting system, which automatically finds its home. It is one of the most effortless systems when it comes to mounting it up. Again, all you have to do is find it near there, it'll magnetically attach up, and to release it, there is a trigger on the front that you actually push in and slide the unit out. So it's not gonna fall off, the magnet is there just to secure it on the system. Probably my favorite feature, especially if you're someone who takes it off, switches it between helmet to helmet, or just takes it off to to charge it with the USB-C charger built into the back, you have that ability on there. So again, 
for the PacTalk Pro. If you're looking at the Edge, if you're looking at the Neo, if you're considering the uh, Pro itself, for that extra $100, you are getting the $90 JBL speakers, as well as one of the best advancements in crash detection we've seen in COM units in quite a few years with the auto on off feature with that IMU installed on there. So for me, it's gonna be a great option. I think it's great for $100 more. If you're not someone that wants the crash detection, the PacTalk Edge is still one of my favorite units within Cardo's line. But if you have any other questions, feel free to click that info button that's gonna take you over to our product page where you can read other rider reviews and see what other riders are saying about the all new Pro. If you still have questions after that, reach out to our customer service team. They're all riders, happy to help you get set up for your next ride. I want to thank you for joining me and checking out the all-new PacTalk Pro from Cardo. I'm Pat, and I'll see you in the next video.